Hey, how's it going, everyone? This is Coach JC. Everyone got a rash we going on today. Today's topic is normalize women for expressing themselves without saying she has an attitude or she's tripping. Bottom line is men, we have to do a better job with preventative maintenance, meaning that don't cause a stir in a woman's life. There's some women that might just be disrespectful, out of spite, but a lot of times, you get to the root of it, it may be just be sad, just might just be, she might be disappointed, uh, disappointed situation. So don't really take it personally. Just try to self correct yourself, self improve. Meaning like, you know you're gonna be out, let's say you're at work, you know you're working over, then yeah, just calmly call her or text her, hey, I'm running a little late, you know, be home slowly. Or hey, you know, if you're out in the grocery store, and you do, she gets you a list to, to bring home, and you forget an item, just like, hey, you know what? I forgot I forgot it. Uh, next time, let me uh, go to the store and get the food, you know? Or sometimes, you know, try to go back to the store, you know? But sometimes, like I said, as men, we can't really process as, many, as much information as women. Uh, so we definitely have to slow it down a little bit and just kind of listen to her a little bit more attentively. Because sometimes our minds be elsewhere, uh, so we have to do a better job with that. And I can definitely talk from experience, from you know, getting her bag ready. Sometimes me, I, especially when I first started, when I first became a parent, you know, getting Olivia's bottle ready, getting her clothes ready for when she ever go out. Sometimes I'll leave the bottle, sometimes I'll leave the change of clothes somewhere else. So. It's, it's a learning experience, and like I said, these videos are not to get on anybody, to derail anybody, it's just to have self-awareness around your situation so you can improve your relationship with your woman, with your wife, etc. Because it's really something you just got to just be its own in, you got to be locked in. Because a lot of times, as, as men, we think that we're, she's getting on us, she's yelling at us, she's screaming at us. But a lot of times, like I said, she's just disappointed, and sometimes she just, in that moment, she doesn't feel like you're listening, you're caring about her. And like, just like I said in the last video, you just have to be attentive to her. You have to make sure that you're hearing her and make sure she's feeling loved, she feels respected, she feels heard and valued. And just communicate a little bit, you know, because that's something that you just have to do, you know, communicate. Hey, you know, we're running a little late. Hey, you're just getting out of the gym, you know. And then guess what? I, I stopped by this grocery store to help, you know, get some groceries. So. It's all about communication. You know, a lot of times she's not tripping. If you know your type of person that have your phone out or constantly texting people when you know you shouldn't and she catches you, don't say she has an attitude. Don't say she's tripping because you know you're wrong. You know, you know you're wrong. You know you're not doing right. Uh, just be, be mad enough to be accountable. Be like, you know what? You're right. You know, you have every right to yell at me, scream at me because I was in the wrong right there. And you have no, I had nothing to say. So, to avoid confrontation, to avoid uh, any any anything to go farther than that, just say, you know what, I'll do better next time, and not just say it, but actually prove it next time. So next time you get in a situation, just think about it. Just think. Just take a deep breath. You know, think about the situation, evaluate the situation, and just try to continue to process the situation so that you can be better in the situation. Um, because it can be a lot, a lot of stuff going on in your mind, your head, you're walking, you're talking, just, and sometimes you just may forget. You don't just keep making it a habit, you know, make sure you make it happen with every one or two times, and guess what, a third or fourth time, you'll get it right, you know, so. That's how, like I said, not really get on, man, it's just a self-awareness video, it's just be aware of what she's saying, you know, ran a woman, you know what I'm saying, it could be very, Mal just can be very talking to her, but at the same time, though, you just got to kind of hear her, hear her, and understand where she's coming from. A lot of times, it's not for anger, it's not for being uh, mad at nobody. It's just, it's just, a lot of it's just disappointing. And a lot of times, it's just, you know, she feel like, you know, we can do better. So, I feel like, you know, as men, we just have to do a little better job, because when coming down to stuff we really like to do, like go to sports games, watch TV, get on YouTube, get on Facebook, etc. We like to do that or things that we enjoy doing. We have no problem giving 110%
effort. And sometimes we come down to a woman, we don't do the same, we give her the same respect. So you just gotta do a lot more looking for a lot of stuff within yourself and understanding like why why are those things triggering me? Why are those things going like getting me? And like I said, you may need help. You know, that's why I'm a coach. So I help people whatever they need to do or whether they maybe procrastination, maybe uh, time management, whatever the issue may be, yeah, it's good to push it on the forefront and like, hey, you know, I don't like any, might need a little help in this area because I'm struggling here. And you're not less than a person. You're not less than because you're asked for help. You're more of a person because you recognize that, hey, you know, I can't fight this battle by myself. I need help. I need understanding. I need reassurance that I'm not getting from I'm not getting it from my spouse, I'm not getting it from my wife, I'm not getting it from a different elder. So just do your due diligence, you know, ask for help. Um, like I said, a lot of times they're not tripping, they're not attitude, you know, and just, and just sometimes, like I said, just gotta hear it, apologize, acknowledge it, and just try to correct the situation so it don't continue to happen, you know. So that's all I really have to say. Uh, make sure you like, share, subscribe to my channel. Coach JC, I'm out.